We have come together in the presence of God for the joining in marriage of this man, Joel Smith, and this woman, Sarah Todd. Our Lord Jesus Christ said of marriage that from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. Marriage is the symbol of God's unending love for His people and of the union between Christ and His church. So the Bible teaches that the husband must love his wife as Christ loved the church, and that the wife must give due honour to her husband. In marriage, a new family is established for the glory of God. Joel and Sarah have now come here to be joined in this holy union to which God has led them. They seek his blessing on their life together, that they may fulfill his purpose for them, and they ask us to support them in this prayer. The wind in your hair, the ocean in your eyes. I am so happy and grateful to be able to stand with Sarah today and share the joy of her and Joel's marriage with you all. When I hold you against mine. Sarah, you're a wonderful sister and I'll always be here for you. The sound of you. Happy to provide you with support, advice or simply counseling here. Having a sister is having a built-in best friend for life and getting to spend more time together recently has been a blessing. I know Ben would also be so proud of the woman that you have become and would be so happy to watch his little sister marry the man of her dreams. We run this race as fast as we can over and over, your hand in my hand. Knowing Sarah has been one of the great blessings of my life. Her loyalty and love over the years have always been second to none. She is truly a remarkable person and friend. Always warm, always down for a belly laugh, and always up for a really long hug. It's been It's always been Despite having 27 years to prepare a father of the bride speech for our daughter, uh, we are still left standing here today speechless at how beautiful she is. It's been you. We've also always loved you, Sarah, and are very proud of all your achievements, but even more proud of the young woman that you have grown into. It's been you. It's I've always known Sarah would find a life partner like Joel, someone who is equally kind and generous, with a keen sense of adventure. Speaking from the heart, I've never seen Sarah as happy as she is either with you or talking about you. I can't ask for more than that as her friend. There are five great loves in Joel's life. God, Sarah, family, friends and surfing. We used to be second on the list, but now we are happy to have been bumped to number three. Joel is independent, loving, generous, determined and persistent. God obviously had a plan and Joel has always had the security of knowing God was there with him and being so certain in his faith. All these pieces broken and scattered. Joel has been an absolute joy watching you grow from this kid from Penella into this godly man that you are today. The love that you have for people and the way you have always been there for me in my best and worst times. Praying for me and pointing me towards Christ. I know you will do that for Sarah. And I just wish you both a life full of love, happiness, peace and joy.
most important achievement is the commitment that you made to our Lord Jesus Christ in accepting him as your Saviour and Lord and your determination to follow him and serve him all of your life. And this is very evident in the Christ-centered life which you live. Joel, will you take Sarah to be your wife, to live together according to God's law? Will you give her the honour due to her as your wife and forsaking all others, love and protect her as long as you both shall live? I will. Sarah, will you take Joel to be your husband, to live together according to God's law? Will you give him the honour due to him as your husband and forsaking all others, love and protect him as long as you both shall live? Father, we thank you for the gift of marriage. We thank you for the moment today as we celebrate the bringing together of this man and this woman. We thank you that as a new family is formed, that you are committed to them even as they are committed to one another. We pray for your strength and your blessing on this new family and ask not just in this moment as we celebrate, but every day forward, that you would bless them abundantly so that you would get glory and they would get joy. We pray it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I, Joel, in the presence of God, take you, Sarah, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow and promise. I, Sarah, in the presence of God, take you, Joel, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as we each other. This is my solemn vow and promise. joined together, let no one separate. Joel and Sarah, before God in the presence of us all, by solemn consent and promise, you have now accepted each other in marriage. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you can now kiss each other. And you guys can get a bit excited about it. so much for being here tonight to celebrate our marriage and we feel blessed to call you our friends and family. We have felt your love and we have appreciated the support so much so thank you. We love you both very much and look forward to watching your love for each other grow in the years ahead.
today has been a wonderful day and I'm so happy that I've been able to stand with you and share in all the special moments of today as you have become a husband and wife. We rise up high. I'm so glad you found each other and get to begin your amazing journey together as husband and wife. full of love, laughter and happiness together. I'm so happy for you Sarah and Joel and I hope you have an incredible night and I can't wait to see the incredible family you become. Cheers to Joel and Sarah. Sneak away There is no time Sarah Smith, my beautiful wife, I love you so much. Sarah, with God's help, I will love you as Christ has loved his church, laying down his life for you. It is my privilege and honour and joy to be your husband. I love you. To my husband, thank you for loving me so well and for caring for my heart. You are truly my best friend, and it's such a gift to now call you my husband also. I love you so much, and I'm so excited to walk through all seasons of this life side by side as your wife. I will love you, and I will choose you each day with God's help for the rest of our lives. As we 